Well, uh, so tina tato te whanau. Um, thanks for coming tonight um, and welcome to uh, the, the last show of David Wrigley's. It's called Gods and Monsters at Play in the Garden of Death and Delight. Um, it's really lovely to see some new faces here and people who are obviously quite close to David um, and we're really sorry to hear of his passing. <clears throat> so um, David got in touch with us last July, the July that's just been wanting to have an exhibition uh, here at St Ailes. He had been diagnosed with cancer and um, he knew that uh, this was his last opportunity to have an exhibition and it was really important for him to, um, to make this work and to have a place to show it. So we're really pleased that we were able to, to, to offer that to him. Um, the work is, is, is fantastic. It's, it's, it's done in charcoal, obviously. Uh, it arrived to me in a sketchbook um, and I had to rip out all the pages. There were pages and pages of, of, of work. Um, he sent me images uh, of, of the, the work that he'd done and he, uh, he also spent some time, talk, a lot of time talking about his work. And um, originally we thought that we would uh, perhaps make a video for him and be able to send it to him. So I wanted to interview him. And um, I managed to interview him and the words that he gave me are mostly here. So a lot of the, the conversations I had. And it's a real insight to um, not only his life, what, the things that were important to him, but also um, his passion for, um, for creativity, for the history that he had in Palmerston North. Um, and, and also he was really candid and honest about uh, what he was going through in, in his illness in his last days. So um, I was really gracious to him to share that experience with us and to have that here as, um, as a body of work. Hi, my name's Leilani Ann Masters. Uh, we knew David as Angus um, over 20 years ago. Um, David was my younger brother Ty's partner and they were together for about 13 years and then he passed away in 1999. Uh, I was blessed to um, be with David since May and watch over him and be with him in his last days and the things he said, they were amazing and he did this um, exhibition with a lot of love and he wanted to put his thoughts into it, how he was feeling at the time and everything like that. And we were very blessed that he did this. Um, it goes back for over 20 years that we were, yeah, family. I'm Elizabeth Hansen from Sweden. I came to New David really about 25 years ago, maybe 30, uh, in Mount Ruskill, Oakland. He came up to me. He was just being friendly, he wanted to become a friend with me. So we stayed on with our friendship. And he was just a lovely friend. I just love him. And he was so artistic. And that was interesting to me because at that time, I was studying art history at the Auckland University and I got very inspired by him because he had such a strong expression which you would have seen here tonight and I was very very pleased to have met him and to have gotten to know him uh, so I'm grateful for that. Uh, this is my uh recollection of David Ridley. Um, you know how to go out in style, David, a week before your exhibition, I'll give you that. Um, I first met David when I was probably 16, 17, when he was boarding with us in Auckland. At that point he was working at Gurdon and Gotch uh, distributing magazines. Um, I didn't really experience his art at that point because he was in the mindset of doing other things, but his uh, uncanny wit, personality and consistent sarcasm is something which was always present to a point where we went on a road trip once I tried to play some music which encouraged him to be quiet because he was talking far too much and I was trying to drive and concentrate but that was David. Um, he would often try and wind you up, he would also call, his favourite catch food was calling me a bitch uh, which I called him back 
um, and we would basically wind each other up until we're silly laughing or one person had stopped. That was usually me that telling them to stop because they had got the sick of it. Um, I remember him putting me up in pubs north and my car broke down in Bulls for a couple of nights as we were being fixed here. Didn't ask any questions, gave up to one of his brooms. Um, his house at that point was a flat, probably a studio flat. Um, jam-packed with every knick-knack you could possibly have and all his artwork and he was going probably through a what you call a goth stage at that point uh, where everything was had very dark and uh, dark meaning and very sort of dark sort of mood coming from him at that point. Um, the other sort of one really good memory I have is when he collaborated with a poem I wrote while I was living in London. He also helped me connect with his brother um, in London and I sort of took spent some time with them. Um, always a man that would give um, artistically. Um, I sent him a poem, he responded back and he created a piece of artwork, which I now see is very similar to what he used to do in his comic, and that still sits in my house now. Another piece of artwork which he did and I really love, but I think it's one of the two that he had stolen, was um, Queen Nefertiti and the Hills of Wainui, which was really beautiful. Um, he did that in Wainui Mato when he stayed there, which is my sort of hometowns, one of my hometowns without well, not sort of my knowledge but he captured those hills it was really amazingly and it was a really bright and beautiful piece of artwork. Um, the last sort of time I met, saw him was earlier this year with my son where I made a mad dash to see him during the holidays. Um, I knew he was quite sick um, just by reading his Facebook posts and he was uh, still in a really really positive mood um, planning multiple trips across the world, around the world. Um, uh, unbeknownst, obviously he'd probably already known his diagnosis wasn't that great, but he, it was his way of trying to live in the dream and live in the moment and trying to plan for his future. Um, but as I said, you've left an indelible part, place in my soul and my heart and inspired me to do artwork and I'm really glad I got here today uh, with my son. Um, he's a little bit bored, but you've got to meet him, which is really cool. Um, and uh, may you rest in peace and I really miss your inspiration and your wit, surprisingly enough. And, um, God rest, uh, Dave, and I hope you're at peace now.